I'm out running trail cams right now. I went to put up a safety thing at one of my stands, one of the newer spots. And when I left the camp, it was clearing off. The sun was poking through, and it's been pouring the whole time I'm out here. And it's starting to clear off again. But anyway, I'm trucking along, and something white caught my eye. I thought it might be a trash bag blowing around. I went to pick it up, but it's not. And I ain't picking it up. Check it out. Yeah, that chunk of quartz. I don't know how big it is, but that's a chunk of quartz. It's kind of cool how you walk around and, you know, all the stones pretty much look alike. You know, New Hampshire granite, you know. And then you come across just this white stone. But anyway, I'm over here and I see some more moose rubbing. <laughs> hey, trash in this tree over here. <laughs> Yeah, really going at it. Always like being in the woods in the rain. I don't know why. And moose tracks and moose poop all over the place. So I got that stand all set up. Here's a moose bed right here. Right there. It's all flattened down. So I got three more SD cards on me and I'm going to go and swap them out at a spot. This morning, Tildy was barking, and she was up on the back of the couch looking out the window, and she was facing down towards the garden. And I look, and there was a bull moose just outside the yard, probably 40 feet from the chicken coop. And I went to get my camera, but he ran off. <laughs> it was a nice bull. Well, my trail cameras haven't been showing much of anything lately, folks. In some ways, it's disappointing, but in other ways, it's really good. <laughs> because if I was seeing a bunch of deer on my trail cameras, it would be torturing me. Um, I say that because a lot of people have been asking me, how's your hunting going? Well, it's not because I haven't been going hunting. You know, I'm not going to say I bit off more than I can chew this year, but man, we took on a lot. This whole project over on the other property was a very ambitious project you know even for a young man which I am not so you know remember Lori and I started that in the winter we would put the chainsaw and cable and come along on a sled and drag it in there in calf deep snow we could get all the way in there cutting in the whole road stacking the brush stacking up the wood and then cutting the whole house lot, which we're not done yet. Very, very ambitious project, but really enjoyed the process, and that's a good thing. So last week, well, the other week, I showed you that we were putting in the concrete piers there, and I said that we we're going to get some lumber and start building. Well, we've gotten tons of rain. Uh, the ground has turned to soup over there. And uh, I haven't bought any lumber yet, except for the pressure-treated 4x6 that I will put on, bolt those on to the uh, top of the um, post over there. And, of course, I will show you that. Uh, I've been pecking away at my to-do list and happy to report that my to-do list is turning into a done list. And I've gotten a lot accomplished. And I wouldn't have been able to do that if I had been out hunting. See, out here in my neck of the woods, early archery season is kind of frustrating. Yeah, uh, I'm dealing with two things, which is moose and mosquitoes. You know, you're getting plagued by mosquitoes in the early season when the weather's warm. And you got the moose rut going on, and we have tons of moose here. My trail cameras show so many different moose. Uh, at first glance, it looks like it's all the same moose but it's not. I do freeze frames and I look at the antler configurations and there's so many different moose right here on my own land.
But we come over to the home site here, got a fire going, just finishing out the day, having some wine and snacks here. We're here having some snacks and I look, and right there, right there, and right there, a moose was here, chewing on the trees. <laughs> you see this all the time behind the camp, but he's over here at the home site. Went to that one there, and that one there, and then he's over here. It's marking his home site. <laughs> I'm sure we'll see quite a bit of wildlife living here. I was sitting here a couple weeks ago, and I could see one, well, two, two moose were working their way up the mountainside there. Well, the critters are visiting the home site. And we're not allowed to hunt them. Yeah, the state has no idea how many moose are out here. Um, there was one monster bull. He stopped and posed right in front of my camera. What a slammer he is. Big, wide, deep pans on him. What a specimen. Huh? That was a nice moose for any standards, even Alaska standards. That's a nice moose. I mean, of course, they get much bigger out there, but that's a big bull. Beautiful animal. Yeah. So, um, I haven't been archery hunting, and that's okay. Getting a lot done. And uh, pretty soon, probably in another week or so, I'll be able to take some time. And get out there and sit in a tree stand. And now with temps in the 20s at night, I'm not dealing with the mosquitoes anymore. <laughs>
kind of cool. I'm bringing this up because when I was showing you that quartz, that white rock I found, I saw that and I go, oh, that's a nice rock. And I, I filmed it and I shared it with you. And then when I went back to edit the footage, the second I opened up that clip, what I saw was the silhouette of a white rabbit. How could you miss it? It's right there. There's a white rabbit right there in the rock. I just thought it was amazing. And I can't help but wonder what I'm going to see the next time. When I go back out there again, will the bunny be gone for good? Maybe something else will be showing up in that rock. I don't know, man. Anyone else see stuff like this? Because it's pretty darn cool and it's really entertaining. So anyway, that's enough for this week, folks. Uh, hopefully this coming week we're going to get to work over there, get that pressure-treated perimeter in there and start getting some lumber there. I don't know when we are going to actually start building because I'm checking off other things on the to-do list and I'm feeling really good about that. So that's it for now, folks. All the best to you and God bless. Frank and the boss out walking in the woods Living life happy and free Tracks in the snow everywhere they go There's a pokey way up in that tree A beaver built a pond where they have some fun Taking life a day at a time Best friends until the end Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss